Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, me, Baruski, for beer review number 42. And today I have for all of you uh, by Triple Bogey Brewing Company their Triple Bogey Lager or Premium Lager. So here's what the can looks like kind of a green on the, I guess, 18th hole, but it has a 19 on the. Um, Flag 19th always usually being the clubhouse. It's kind of like golf slang or whatnot. Coming in at 5% alcohol by volume and an unknown IBUs. Uh, needless to say, or not needless to say, but uh, fun fact, I've had this quite a bit. It's sold at the golf course I work at currently and over the uh, last few summers. Um, it's, uh, it's a golf beer. That's what it is. It's marketed mainly to uh, golf courses for them to showcase and for them to sell to golfers and other people that, you know, go to the golf course. So, let's crack her open, see what we got. Pour in like a base down to a glass. There we go. Pour right up to the turtle, just a little above. take a look at the beer. Ah, very clear. Extremely clear. Just like a regular old lager, basically. A lot of carbonation. Decent amount of head on there. About one and a half fingers of white foamy head. So, kind of neat. Let's have a sip and then we'll cheers. Or smell and then sip and then we'll cheers. It smells like a regular beer, like a tr like a typical lager, sort of like a Canadian or a Bud. It doesn't smell that fancy. You know, you get some light malts, yeah, light malts in there. Sort some sort of um, pungent smell out of it, but nothing too um, sort of like metallic-y smell almost. But nothing too um, amazing. So let's have a sip and see what we got. crisp, it's clean, it's light bodied, it's really, um, it's not much flavor to be honest, there's really not a lot of flavor in this, um, it's good, you know, for a typical lager, if you're usually drinking uh, Canadian or Bud or Coors Light or something, it's along those lines, even though it's, I guess, a, uh, like a craft beer kind of thing. Let's choose and see what else we can find out about this beer. Cheers, everyone. There's a bit of sweetness in there, um, but a lot of wateriness as well. You know, it's more, I guess, I would say beer flavored wa water. Beer flavored water. To be honest, it's nothing special. It's like a regular old lager. Um, much different than other craft lagers like Muskoka or um, Lug Tread or um, what else? Um, I know Side Launch has a just like, you know, easy going lager kind of thing. This isn't as flavorful at all compared to those ones. Let's read about the can. So, Triple Brew, tri yeah, Triple Bogey Brewing Company. We established, was established for the everyday golfer. We know how much you love the game, so we brewed a beer that's perfectly fit for the fairways. Whether you're cruising up the 18th or relaxing on the patio after a round, a Triple Bogey has never been this easy to swallow. Cheers to the 19th hole and those beautiful summer days. Enjoy our crisp, refreshing blonde lager crafted just for you. A Triple Bogey, it's okay to say, better hit another. Uh, ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, yeast. Very easy going. Package on date though, 0717. So that's nice, they have that written on there as well. Looking over at the website, triplebogeybeer.com. Has the same description as on the can, and just a few pictures of it, and you know, it gives the uh, 5% ABVs and it's available in tall cans or on tap. Proudly brewed in Toronto. Looking over on Beer Advocate, they've given it a score of 77, which is an okay rating. 
down looking at a review. This one gentleman says, light brazy golden color, brassy golden color, sorry, light brassy golden color, zero head, absolutely flat. I had head on this one. Half a dozen lines of carbonation, no lacing. Hmm, no lacing. Mild grassy aroma of Czech hops, a steely taste, mild malt that tastes like sugar water, very mild hop bitterness. Light feel like an ice cube in your mouth. This premium lager was disappointing. This is no reason to come back even if the can had better carbonation. They give it a 2.06 out of 5, so they weren't a big fan of it. To be honest, I don't mind it. It doesn't stand out uh, from the crowd. It really is sort of lackluster, to be honest. But it just tastes like a light beer for the alcohol of a regular beer. So if you like light beer, this is perfect for you. Um, if you just like regular Canadian Bud, Stella, this is even fine for you. Like, it's not going to blow your mind. Like, I would take a Stella over this, to be honest. I'm not saying it tastes bad, but there's any offensive flavors, it's just boring. It's just a regular beer. So, if you just like regular beers, this is perfect for you. Overall, it's really nothing special. It's just a, a golfer's beer kind of thing. I don't know. I don't really know much else to say about it. Kind of kind of really slow easy going review here nothing crazy at all it's just refreshing that's what it is that's the main i guess point of it it's crisp and refreshing and if you like the taste of beer kind of this is perfect for you but with that choosing the final sip everybody hmm. all right let's wrap it up i know this isn't a very exciting review but also it's not a very exciting beer so what can i do Overall, you know what? It tastes fine. It tastes like a regular beer, more like a light beer or a light lager than anything. It's no offensive flavor, so that's a good bonus point to it kind of thing. But overall, I gotta give it a solid, I gotta give it a five, 4.55 five, five, uh, for both, the, uh, just for the beer, you know? It's nothing crazy, it doesn't blow my mind, but it's not a bad beer. So, you know, it's, it's okay. Um, for, I guess, um, for the can and the extra curriculars on the website, yeah, I gotta give it a solid five as well. It's nothing crazy. Got a neat looking can, I guess. Kind of neat. Very simple. Um, good description. And the package on date is a bonus. And the website was the same thing. I said IBUs. And, yeah. So, I guess my only point is I wish they could maybe, you know, make it stand out of the crowd kind of thing, but I guess that's not what they were going for. Most people aren't into craft beer, so if they did a craft beer for golf courses and really put it out of the park kind of thing, really different, nobody would buy it. And you know what? I guess if they're marketing to golfers and they're selling a lot, good for them. So overall, 4.5 for the beer and a good, what, 5 or 6 for the uh, can and the uh, website? Cool cool that's all i really have to say so like i always say crack a beer and enjoy cheers everyone